Michael Miller. This is a Michael Miller trademark training video out to you because you're watching. Thank you and welcome. It's meant for Michael Miller Pilates licensed affiliates, the core to core, and anyone interested in surviving and thriving as a Pilates instructor or student. Three things. And um, the first title is rollover, comma, in parentheses, corkscrew, comma, and then jackknife. So rollover, corkscrew, and jackknife as three exercises that occur within the Pilates mat work. The reason corkscrew is in parentheses is because it's different than the, the, the rollover and the jackknife because in both of those moves, the body stays symmetrical in the plane of the midline. You know, it stays even this way, okay? In the corkscrew, there's twist involved. So that's why it's in parentheses. It's a movement pattern beyond the purity, if you will, or the in-plane of uh, midline. Does that make sense? Sounds good. In-plane of midline. So your body stays symmetrical in that plane as it moves. In both of those cases, flexion, right? But the, the thing that brought me to this was a, a teacher of my, a, a, a teacher, a teacher, a friend of mine, is illustrating the jackknife and saying, go, go down, go straight down. So your legs go over, your body comes over, and you jackknife open, and then come down through that. From the MMP point of view, see, I don't know why they're saying do that, but what I see when I see that kind of instruction is my understanding of that comes to what I understand of this as a, as an iron, right? And that this iron are your legs up in space, as you, as you stretch your body long, like you pull the fabric taut and then come down on it with an iron, you use the weight of your legs to facilitate the massaging stretch of your body, most notably through your spine. Okay? All of your body participates, and so imagery for me, when I've got, in whatever, there's other stuff going on, but the weight of the body, oh, you use the, you use gravity to give yourself what Joe calls an internal shower, that's what I think of when he says that. So, so the rollover corkscrew jackknife exercises in the mat. In what way are they similar and in what way are they different? They're all similar in that you're really using the weight of your body from an anchor at your shoulder anchor at your shoulders to do what? To do what? Well, from the MMP point of view, you're you're providing tension through reaching long through your body. And if you know about core new tension, you reach long through your body, engaging in core new tension. But it is the, the stretch, it is the stretch of, that you do, um, And it's under that stress that the weight of your body is acting as a load
facilitating that stretch. All that movement in front of the camera on Facebook, Facebook will never survive. Maybe if I sit further back in that, it'll be able to process it. Number two, number two, number two. The title of number two is Make Money, Surf the Tsunami. So I point often to the tsunami of Pilates' passion, sweeping the globe, you know. Um, and for as much as it's old hat to others, it's a new hat to many, many more than there are those being disenchanted by it. See, the wave. But the passion for Pilates seems to still be growing. And like a tsunami as a wave, disrupts the norm before it. How's that? For the wave breaks everything up and smashes it all together. And there's all of this stuff taken away by the wave itself. So it's in the midst of that wave that I'm talking about surfing. I'm talking about making money by explaining one point, by explaining two things, CT and MMP. Regardless of your background or your level of exposure, To whatever would probably enrich your explanation of it, just explaining it straight from your thinking, and from the from the PowerPoint app in the Udemy course, how to survive as a Pilates instructor, so that in hand or on the screen up behind you, you have the slides that are the that represent these five things. Now, how many of them are straight from Joe out of Joe's book? Three, right? And that's what MMP is based on, is a theory that there's an ideal within Joe's work from three things in evidence in his book. Those three things. And then really... Always, I think, think of introducing or explaining CT before MMP, because if you've got to make some kind of big leap to some other point of view, and you're a Pilates instructor, that's what I was trying to say about yesterday, and you're used to trying to put things in order, then, then introducing core new tension as a, as a, as one assumed leap or the only point of view you got to show, however it depends on the observer, but recognizing that that's the point of view that will re that will really help your student take in the point of view of MMP as efficiently as possible. So I may be completely wrong in that, but that's why CT and MMP is an order to things, and that, and that, and that lost in my own point of view, all I can do is seek to empower you to share it with others, as I am about to go out and try to do on my own. Well, I make a few invitations to my annual convention. So my convention, every year, the same moment, every year. Same place unless the park is closed. And not always a popular time to have people show up. But it's a rock outcropping with a great view. 
I think of Machu Picchu, not uh, anywhere near the same in many ways, but still it's a, route, a rock outcropping with a great view from which to observe the observing the solstice, something observable. So come to the convention, any year, same time, same place, and that rock outcropping on the maps is known as Lost Gulch Overlook. It's a few miles straight up the Boulder baseline is the 40th parallel, and when you pursue that west, so when you go west on the 40th parallel through Boulder, it climbs up into the mountains, and a few miles up is Lost Gulch Overlook. After that, this year, 2019, 10.54 a.m. on a Friday, so it's Friday morning. Up at this, up at a great place, if the weather, if the weather allows, and if it doesn't, then the Hotel Boulderado, in this case for brunch, on the veranda, if possible, and that's the celebration that I hold as A reason why it's held that MMP holds its convention there. That's when? That's when is why. But there particularly is just the outcropping and observing and how much observing plays into the MMP point of view. <clears throat> and then Cornu. will stand on her due time when I get done neglecting her or it, the trademark, what it points to, which is the existence of corny tension in the body. And that's why I'm headed out on a road trip on a new tour to invite people to her convention as much as mine, if that makes any sense at all, to her convention as much as or more than the MMP point of view. So there's two things, CT and MMP. Those are two identifications that I claim responsibility for. And so, in terms of being a Pilates instructor and trying to survive and adding two and two, I hope that, and I already suspect that, those that have taken on some of what I'm talking about have found it to facilitate them, uh, their confidence in what, how, in, in, I didn't say overall or anything, just play into. And that comes to, that comes to my summary. My summary. Ah, his point of view. That was my number three. It became a title. Number three. Point of view. MMP is one point of view out of 10,000. That's all Pilates is, is a word. Uh, from which 10,000 thousand points of view come from. Mine, this MMP is just one of them. It's a very it's a point of view that comes from a place that's not 
part of the general Pilates culture, wouldn't you say? Right? Pilates culture is what it is, and it likes being what it is, most of it does anyway. But I think that you and I and others who understand Pilates for having an essence of its own and being able to explain it will be rare indeed. And the being able to explain it is my number two thing about make money. If you can explain a point of view that gives you more than you had before you went in about understanding Pilates, we'll see. And so there's my there's my last statement in this preponderance is have understanding why be part of who you are. There's no holy grail revealed as much as an explanation made. to the extent explanations count at all to how you fare as a Pilates instructor or a student. The more, I think, the tsunami wave increases its intensity and the more pressure there is for Pilates being indistinguishable without associating it to something else, right? Pilates being ground into minutia, it's because what it's being ground into doesn't explain itself because it's not helpful to the structures being sought to be maintained. And, and that may end up withstanding the wave. We will all be woven into the tapestry of the Pilates culture. To me, there's economic advantage or at least I'm at least trying to lay the foundation for, and maybe that's what I'm about to find out, is that there's no interest at all in anything I have to say or any explanation of, of Pilates, right? Let alone biomechanics that are way ahead of their time. In Tibet, in Tibet, they make those designs with colored sand. And, and then end up sweeping it all away. And for me, one of the points in that is that the joy is in laying out the colored sand. In being a presenter, get paid just covering five things as you take your customers on a gondola ride to point out two things for new tension and MMP. CT and MMP. Start there. Start there. So that CT and MMP have an identity or a name of, of its own. And that can be referred to as such without having to go all the way through coronary tension and especially all the way through Michael Miller Pilates. Because MMP is, means MM, Michael Miller Pilates. 
But you don't have to go through Michael Miller Pilates in your head to get to this particular point of view. And I think it's shorter and, and in its abstractness merely represents one point of view out of 10,000. So that's where I would start. That's where I do start. Explaining CT and MMP. And then they say, what's that? And you say, exactly. And for only this much, I'd be glad to take you on this gondola ride and explain it to you. Life can't live forever. Read between the lines. Knowing why can really help. Having at least having a reason why that is, or that hopefully this particular point of view, MMP, which comes with CT. empowers you to evaluate, not only to evaluate, but know how to achieve. This weight coming down in the, in the rollover and in the jackknife, you make tension in the body with core new tension between endpoints. That's the only way I can see it now. So take me at, at being blind to any other way of seeing it, but that's, from within this point of view, it's like, how else do you accomplish that? At the level of dynamic tension created at endpoints that the body obviously has. How do you get past what's obvious? Or, I don't know. The reason for this broadcast is my last comment, which is having an understanding of why. Why is Pilates, was it, what, why is Pilates what it, Pilates is what it is. I'm tripping over the word now too much. MMP is one point of view on that word. It's very different, and it's so. It's also very new to so many people that have fallen in love with and as part of this this tsunami wave. Have never heard of yours truly, or or core new tension or MMP, right? And so, if it's new, and it's new to a lot of people that already have a lot of experience with Pilates. Offer it to people that have never heard of Pilates because we all want new clients from the get-go. And yet there will always be that intermingling of learning between those that, that presume experience and those that don't. And all of the effects of that are true and why different people and studios and lineages have their own peculiarities about how training happens. The, the neat thing is, my focus is, Inviting you to come to the convention at whatever year you can. In 2020, in Colorado, here in Boulder, it's on a Saturday afternoon, around 3.40-something, I think. But I had a good time next year, too. But 
this year certainly has looked forward to after the the drama, the personal, it's just me, but it's been fun, and I look forward to another one. If you come, wear tennis shoes, come sober, there's a flat place with benches, and there's also part of an out rock outcropping, only do what you're comfortable with, right? Pilates teaches you to recognize your range, right? And to deepen the control of the range you're in. So a list of paradoxes. I have to come up with one. Because life can't live forever. Read between the lines and see behind the curtain. Evaluate points of view. Find peace with the point of view that you have, and it being one of transcendence from what you know about MMP, in my humble opinion, it's transcendent. It takes you someplace that, that you weren't before we went there. It wasn't there before I took you there. The Einstein, Bruce Lee, Copernicus of Pilates. I would say fits the scenario of this point of view. For all the good and the bad and whatever, but that's how to get a handle on it. For yourself and those who seek to Be a Pilates instructor. Aware of CT and MMP is part of it. And then once you're done evaluating that perspective, add two and two. Even though it hasn't really worked out for me, I still think it was fun to make recordings on the way through. Just in case there's any resonant interest past the moment it's done in. Which is why we're here and this is live, but it also records. And... Having control of that. You talk about control. Control your own recordings. Direct your thinking. Geist.